Seattle City Council The Seattle City Council is the legislative branch of government. Members set the city's direction by enacting ordinances and passing resolutions. The council authorizes expenditures, adopts regulations, levies taxes, controls the finances and property of the city, and performs many related legislative tasks. Of the nine city council positions, two, position eight and position nine, are at large, representing the entire city for a term of four years. Positions one through seven each represent different districts of the city. Only the two at-large council positions are up for election this year. The remaining seven district council positions will be on the ballot in 2023. All voters in Seattle can vote in both of the at-large city council races. In the last year, Seattle has had a reckoning with racial inequality, a battle with a devastating pandemic, a homelessness state of emergency, and a continued climate catastrophe. The question before Seattle voters is straightforward. Will we continue to rely on policies of the past, many of which have brought us to this point, or is it time for a fresh perspective rooted in community care? My name is Nikita Oliver, I use they them pronouns, and I am running for Seattle City Council Citywide Position 9. I'm a community organizer, executive director, artist, adjunct professor at Seattle University School of Law, and an attorney who has supported clients through school exclusion, eviction, and anti-discrimination cases. When elected, I will serve with the conviction that we need solutions now that are commensurate with the crises we are facing and in alignment with the vision of the city we strive to be. A vote for the Nikita for Nine campaign is a vote for a city that embodies racial and economic justice, a city with labor protections, prevailing wages, and health care for all, a city that enacts progressive revenue to build housing and meet the basic needs of our residents, a city that takes bold action to address the climate crisis, working towards free transit and reforming zoning codes that restrict our supply of affordable housing and further perpetuate racist exclusionary zoning patterns. Our campaign has received more democracy vouchers than any city council candidate because we have built community power from the ground up, from the South End to North Seattle, among renters and vulnerable homeowners, seniors at risk of displacement and young people alike. We've been endorsed by the MLK Labor Council, the Urbanist, the Stranger, Seattle Democratic Socialist of America, Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal, Seattle City Council members Morales and Mosqueda, former Council Member Mike O'Brien, County Council Member Zahalai, and former Council Member Larry Gossett, Washington State Representative Kirsten Harris Tally and State Senator Rebecca Saldana. Together we will build the city we say we are, a city where all are healthy and thriving. Seattle, we've got to talk. We live in a gorgeous city, but unfortunately, our elected leaders are failing our most vulnerable. We see it when we walk through our neighborhoods, in our parks, and on our downtown streets. On critical issues like homelessness and public safety, City Council is making big promises, but delivering few, if any, measurable results. It's time for a change, and I bring the right experience to make that change happen. As a former council aide, I helped pass landmark legislation to build affordable housing, increase transit, and tackle climate change. As co-founder of Fremont Brewing, I created a neighborhood business that's known for taking care of its workers and giving back to the community. As your council member, I'll be a pragmatic progressive, someone with a plan to get things done, providing housing for our most vulnerable while restoring our parks and playgrounds. And I'll be responsive, accountable, and transparent. I have to be blunt with you, there's a big contrast in this race. My opponent says that abolishing the police is the first step in public safety. I think that's irresponsible. I strongly support comprehensive police reform, but I believe that when you call 911, you should be able to count on a fast, effective, and fair response. That balanced approach has earned me the support of police reform leaders like Victoria Beach, chair of the African American Community Advisory Council, and Reverend Harriet Walden, founder of Mothers for Police Accountability. I'm also honored to be endorsed by the Seattle Times, the Seattle Firefighters, Laborers, and iron workers unions, and many more. I'm in this to solve problems and rebuild the city we love. There is hope. And together, we can make Seattle a place that keeps its promises to those who need it most. I'm Sarah Nelson, and I ask for your vote. Learn more at sarahforcitycouncil.com.